I've got a Hydroform 2, an OmniScan X3, and we're gonna set it up in five minutes. We're gonna scan this plate here. This is a quarter inch carbon steel, and on the back side of this, I've got some corrosion. First thing you're gonna do is set this up to be a custom part. You see I've got a set of flat plate. The thickness of this part is a quarter inch, which in metric is 6.4 millimeters. You're gonna set it like this. And next, we're gonna go over to probes and wedges. Now, Evident makes this part really easy. All you gotta do is probe, hit this, and then jump up to Hydroform 2. It is right there. And in this case, I have the seven and a half meg version. And for wedge, what happens in here is that we're using a water column. On a Hydroform 2, the water column is about 14 millimeters. So what you're gonna do is go over to wedge, hit this, jump up to Hydroform, select Hydroform 2. We're just using the regular setup, not the extra tall setup. And you can see it says a first element height of 14 millimeters and the velocity of sound and water at 1480 meters per second. Under the groups tab, under lock and fig, you're gonna to wanna to set that to zero degree with overlap. If you try to set that to linear, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna be able to set up the A scan properly and get it to synchronize with the eye gate. It's gotta be zero degree with overlap. Thanks to my buddy, Jeff Laddie, after taking a phone call on a Saturday and answering that question for me. You can change the quantity to four. I recommend that for pretty much all the Hydroform scans. And then hit next. You can set focusing actually on this. You, you might think that with that tiny aperture and that big water column, you might think that the near zone gets eaten up in that. It actually doesn't. So you could set this to normal or maybe just a little bit less. I'll set it to five millimeters just because. For tab four under the scanning pattern, you're gonna change that to raster encoded. We hit done, we put the hydroform on the test piece. Then what you have to do is make sure that the probe is sitting down against the part. You have to release this lever on the backside and then push the probe gently down so it squeezes that gasket. That will keep that water column in place. Now's the fun part, we get to turn on the water. Now you're gonna turn that on. What you're gonna do is move the hydroform back and forth to kind of work out some of those air bubbles. Down to gates and alarms, gate main, what we wanna do is go over and we're gonna to touch on the interface gate. And now what you're gonna do is hit the down arrow and you see where it says select gates and then A scan synchro pulse. We're gonna switch this to I edge. The whole thing with this interface gate is to flatten that interface signal using that I gate. It's looking through the water, finds the first thing that it sees if you've got the eye gate position set correctly. And then what it does is it zeroes and flattens it all out so that we start all of our readings from the top surface. I want you to make sure that gate A is set to grab that first back wall. My part thickness is 6.4, so I'm gonna start the gate at around three millimeters and the width just enough to grab that whole first back wall echo. Now go down to the gate advanced menu. This is the part where you wanna change this measure point on that first back wall under gate A to the edge. Keep hitting the down arrow, you are gonna to get to the thickness part. Make sure the mode says A edge minus I edge. This means that it's gonna take the position of the A gate back to the I gate and it's gonna call that the thickness. Finally, you're gonna set the minimum and maximum points in this thickness menu. I like to set my minimum at about half thickness and the maximum to a little bit over nominal like I've got right here. Now we're pretty much ready to go. You're gonna move this back and forth and line that up with your start lines with these two lines that are on the side of the hydroform. All right, switch over to ACS. Uh, you're gonna hit play because we gotta reset the instrument. Turn on that water and let it rip. Once you get down to the end of that line, you're gonna press the button on the scan deck to get it to point in the index direction and then just slowly move it in a straight line. Press the button again so that it's in the scan direction and then just pull it back. Here you can see all the white on the screen, that is missing data. And it's not really possible when you're doing hydroform on corrosion to not miss something. Remember the sound is coming out of the probe, going down through the steel, and then it's hitting some sort of weird corrosion blob. And some of that sound goes that way and not back to you. So you're gonna lose that amplitude and it's gonna slip underneath the gate. So seeing white blobs on a scan is normal. We're gonna take that gate A 
threshold, which is going to move it down. Because remember, that signal amplitude was low. You can see every time I lower the gate another percent, I start to pick up more and more of that signal. But there will be a point when I go too low and I start to bring in that noise. So I'm going to push that gate up a couple spots. I kind of like that. We'll go with it. We won't be able to cover every nook and cranny of a really good hydroform scan in just five minutes, but we can get a pretty good start. If you enjoyed the video or if you just like clicking on things, please hit those like and subscribe buttons and thanks for watching.